I was challenged by a handful of my viewers to make this video. It seems that some people are uncomfortable with upgrading old laptops as I do in much of my content. To me, this seems sort of like an irrational fear. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Laptops don't bite. Regardless of what I think about that, I set off on a mission to find a ready-to-go, out-of-the-box, used business-class laptop for as cheap as possible. I picked up a Lenovo T410 on eBay for 55 bucks plus 17 US dollars shipping. And today, we are going to see if it makes a decent office slash school machine. So as some of you already know, I have worked with the T410 before. There is an eBay finds video and an upgrade video already posted to my channel. So if you want to see benchmarks and performance tests from a fully upgraded T410, the link will be down in the description. Now, because I've worked with it once before, I know that the T410 is an outstanding laptop. It's incredibly tough, has an impressive amount of IO, the keyboard is amazing, and battery life is about five hours with a genuine nine cell battery. That being said, I have never tested a T410 in a nearly stock, ready to use configuration, which is what some of my viewers want. Personally, I don't really recommend this approach, especially since the RAM and hard drive on the T410 are easily accessible. I would add a 120GB SSD and another 2GB of RAM in the system if I was actually going to use this. Um, for this video though, I will be testing it in the configuration it arrived in. This is one of the lower end configurations of the T410. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it should give you a preconceived notion of the system specs. This T410 is equipped with an Intel M520 at 2.4GHz that has 2 cores and 4 threads. 2GB of DDR3 RAM, Intel integrated graphics, a 1200x800 display, 160GB hard drive, 6 cell battery, and a copy of Windows 7 Pro. Additionally, the seller also included a genuine Lenovo power supply. Synthetics aren't really bringing anything surprising to the table. The primary bottleneck of the system teeters between the hard drive and the 2GB of RAM. Considering the fact that we are working with integrated video, 3D performance is okay. You can expect to be able to play some older games at medium settings, but newer titles will bring the system to its knees. Since I'm intending for this to purely be a school slash office machine, I'm not really too concerned with gaming performance. You really start to feel the squeeze caused by the spinning hard drive and lack of RAM when you start performing basic office tasks. Just a disclaimer, I might be a little biased here because I know what one of these T410s can do. With a few upgrades, these things scream through productivity tasks. However, in this configuration, I thought it was a little on the slow side. Thanks to that sluggish hard drive, in addition to lengthy boot times, applications also take a significant amount of time to open. Even basic productivity apps such as Google Chrome and LibreOffice take about 15 to 20 seconds to open and that's something I really don't like. I like my applications to open almost instantly. That's because I'm used to putting uh, solid state drives in all of the machines that I work on. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of the time it takes to open applications, but once you have that application open, Using said application is a pleasant experience. So I popped open Google Chrome. I went to my website first, loaded that up just fine. Uh, scrolled through there, scrolling was nice and smooth. I navigated to the Associated Press's site. Same story, went to YouTube, played back a 720p YouTube video at 60 frames per second. Uh, didn't run into any issues there. Uh, I went ahead and tried out some multitasking. So I left all those open, popped open LibreOffice Writer. Uh, did take a little bit to open once again, but once I had it open, it was completely usable. So yeah, once the application is actually open, you get a pretty pleasant user experience. Regarding the two gigabytes of RAM, you can get by on Windows 7 with only two gigabytes of RAM just fine. Um, however, I would suggest either upgrading uh, to four gigabytes of RAM once you get a system like this, um, or if you want to go the route where you don't want to touch anything inside the laptop, you can get pre-built T410s with uh, standard spinning 160 gigabyte hard drives uh, and four gigabytes of RAM for about 20 bucks more than what I paid here. 
One interesting thing to note about this particular T410 is that it was being sold as a refurb unit. That's interesting because most T410s in this price range are usually sold under the used or for parts or repair categories. It appears that the seller did put some work into this laptop, the keyboard seems to be brand new, and the trackpad sticker was removed, um, though I would have preferred that they replaced it afterwards. Also, the system has a supervisor password enabled for the BIOS. Not really too big of a deal though because the BIOS settings are okay, uh, it's not really hindering the system's usability, and some people might say that, oh, you know, that's a sign that the system might be stolen, and sure, there's a very, very, very small chance of that, but chances are the seller bought this as an auction lot, the previous company slash organization uh, didn't unlock the BIOS, and that's where we're at now. Though I do consider this system to be usable as a daily driver in its current configuration, it could definitely benefit from a cheap SSD and two more gigabytes of RAM. You can find already upgraded T410s on eBay, though I would steer clear of those because they tend to be overpriced. Urban Mining, which is the seller I bought this laptop from, also has several other reasonably priced business class laptops in stock. So if you want to check those out, I will put the link to their store in the description. If you are looking for some budget-friendly SSDs to upgrade a laptop like this, I will put the links to some I have used in the past in the description as well. That's going to be about it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support the channel by checking out the Patreon page. And don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.